Hello. Since so many of us are very excited about gaining multiple skills these days, I thought it would be a good idea to share some crochet skills with you. If you need a specific video, please do comment below and let me know. The idea is that I will start with the basics and then go on to more complex projects. Here is the most basic skill that we need to gain. First get ourselves familiarized with a crochet hook. Here is a pouch that I made to carry all my different kinds of crochet hooks. Um, I have some steel ones that are very fine. They are used for thread crochet. If you see, the tips are very, very fine. Then we have some very thin wool crochet hooks. Uh, these are not from America. These are from uh, my home country, India. And basically, a um, lot of people use only these kind of hooks over there. If you see, the tip is very pointy. Now here are some hooks that I found in America and If you see the difference is they're not as pointy they're a bit rounded the very first ones that I found like uh, about 10 10 or so years ago these are Susan Bates and uh, although they have a pointy tip on the edge um, they are a little flat on the inside over here if you see here this part is very flat and I don't particularly like these kind of hooks but but they do the work um, just the same here are some plastic ones from Susan Bates the same issue with them I feel the flat uh, base I don't like it base as in the part between the, sp the space between it's very flat although this is pointy and this is pointy but the space here is very flat so my preference is always these hooks okay so I'm gonna start with the basic uh, loop it's the same loop that we make in um, knitting, the slip knot. And then I'll show you how we do the chain. So here I have some acrylic wool. It's uh, good enough for practice. So basically, here's what we do. This is my hook. This is the tail end of my yarn. I will hold it with my left hand and I will turn my hand like so. So I have an overlap and a loop and I hold the neck of the loop like that. Then I place this tail underneath over here under the loop and then I fish it through with my hook now I, I make sure that the whole tail doesn't come through the loop and then I hold both ends and then tighten it and that's my slip knot why is it called a slip knot because I can adjust it if I pull the long end it becomes wider or the loop becomes larger 
if I pull the tail end, it becomes smaller or shorter. So here is my slip knot. And next basic thing that we need to do is to make a chain. So although there are other ways we can start on a project, but the most basic is a chain. And I will teach you the other ways in a future video. So I'm holding my hook like this, my tail in my hand and holding the neck of the slip knot. I roll my yarn over the hook and then I fish it through the existing loop on the hook. And I have to make sure that I grab all the strands of the yarn and I don't leave any. See? So every time I fish through, I adjust my grip and make it, I mean hold it right near the last loop on the hook. So then yarn over, fish it through, adjust my hand. Yarn over, fish it through, adjust my hand. Yarn over, fish it through. Okay, so this might happen to you. The loop here is very tight, so I can't fish the yarn over through it. So I'm gonna just pull it a little, pull it a little bit and hold it at the neck and then yarn over, fish it through and it comes out easily. So here is the basic chain that you will get when you start a project. This is the back of the chain. And as you see, you can see kind of pearl bumps here. These are the bumps that are used to pick up stitches when you start your project. So that's just the basic for today and I'll meet you in a future video to discuss more uh, skills and stitches in crochet. Thank you.